Hi my people, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Linda, I'm a pharmacist and on this channel, it's a very positive channel by the way, positive vibes and we talk about health, I talk about nutrition and fitness and your health as a general human being. So if that's a good idea to you, hit the subscribe button. So today I'm going to talk to you about my COVID-19 vaccine experience. Uh, so last week today is actually day six after getting vaccinated i got vaccinated last week um wednesday last week on wednesday in aga khan at around 3 3 30 p.m yeah i went for the job after so much consideration after asking myself so many questions after reading so many studies i decided like linda it's time for you to get the job and i'm here to tell you about my experience so I've recorded for day one, day two, day three. Yeah, because that is, those are the days, sorry, those are the days I actually experienced very bad side effects. For day four, day five, day six, what I'm just experiencing is pain still on the left side of my hand because this is the left hand where I was injected. And if actually something or someone just touches here, it's still painful. I still feel pain. Other than that, I'm totally fine guys you can see I'm okay I'm back to work everything is fine so I hope you're going to consider to get the vaccine and yeah so let's watch my experience hi guys how are you so this is like 26 hours after I've got the COVID vaccine and I am feeling horrible with a capital H yeah so I went to work today and I just had to come back because I I've been having like chills, I've been having a fever and right now I'm just like on and off between having a chills and a fever and if you look at this left side where I was injected, it's extremely painful. I can't do much with my left hand. It's painful but yeah, I was told it's expected and it will end with time. Also another thing is I, um, I had a bit of a headache though it didn't last for long, it wasn't that bad, it was a mild headache. Then yesterday I was having like vertigo, I was feeling like my world is just turning round and round, everything I was just seeing is going round and round and round and round. So that's the up update for today, I'll keep you updated tomorrow on how I feel. I hope it gets better, I hope I get better and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, how are you? So a quick update. Today is day two after vaccination and so far so good. The fever has gone down from yesterday and the chills have also gone though I feel a little bit they come on and off but they're not as bad as they were yesterday. And then another thing that has developed today, it's a headache. God, it's a very, very bad headache. It's like a tension headache. So all around the head, I'm just feeling like it's, throbbing like in a nigonga kitchen and nigonga vibaya sana i'm trying to smile but deep down i'm hurting then the other thing is also still the pain on this left hand at the site of injection here i feel like so so much pain i can't do a lot of work with my left hand there's not so much i can do but yeah we press on it's painful and then it also goes slightly to the back and some part of the neck but I trust that it will get better. So then also another thing that I'm experiencing is a sore throat. So I just feel like I'm developing a sore throat and I've tried to actually take a lot of water. I've tried to hydrate and take warm water because I don't want to take also so much medicine. It might interrupt with the vaccine. So I'm just trying to keep it to the minimal as I observe. But yeah, let's not let's hope that I won't develop like a cold because of this but it's expected you can have like covid like symptoms once you get the vaccine so even if it comes yeah still i'm prepared this is my body trying to fight this is my body trying to build immunity against covid and yeah let's just pray for the best i'll see you again tomorrow to update you on day three Bye. hello guys i'm back again day three and guess what look at how happy i am Look at how happy I am. Yes. So a quick update. Everything is okay right now. Perfectly fine. Fever gone. Pain gone. Headache gone. But there's only one thing. This hand, it's still painful. Yeah. That's the only thing that is remaining. And then I am so done with the 
COVID vaccine reaction and I am so happy guys I'm so happy that everything has turned out well so for the sore throat that had come yesterday I managed to take dawa lemon honey ginger and hot water and it cleared overnight I woke up in the morning and I'm okay no flu like symptoms so guys I'm so happy I'm so happy I'm so happy things are okay guys that's a summary of my experience and i'd like to tell you this people are different everyone reacts differently i have friends who actually never felt anything no headache no fever nothing they're totally fine other people had worse side effects than mine others were milder than mine others were just like comparable to mine others were only getting like one side effect and that's it so bottom line is people react differently and vaccines really work vaccines save lives so this is to urge all of you that please 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 those who are telling me you oh, will turn into a zombie apocalypse really guys there's nothing like that and the virus is not going to change your dna it's not going to interfere with your dna look this is me one week almost one week later i'm fine nothing has really changed i know most of you are telling me oh we are considering the long-term side effects blah 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 but I'm here to tell you from experience, vaccines do save lives. And if we all get out there and go get vaccinated, I know there's a lot of um, there's a lot of issues and there's a lot of information and rumors about this COVID vaccine that is on the internet. But guys, please consider that as rumors. I've gone through studies that were actually carried out on this vaccine and it's safe. And actually, people who have allergies have been given this and they are okay so if you have any allergies this is very fine you'll be okay no chances of anaphylaxis but people remember people react differently so i'd like to urge all of us that once the vaccine is rolled out to the general public please go get vaccinated and right now if you have a parent who's more than 55 years old please encourage them and please let them go get vaccinated because they fall under people who are susceptible to getting a very severe covid infection should they get it so i hope this video has convinced you to go get your vaccine and in case of anything about the covid vaccine in case of any questions leave them down in the description sorry leave them down in the comment section i'll be able to answer if you have any concerns anything about the vaccine let me know your girl is here for you she'll always take your questions she's always answer your questions so in the meantime guys Please stay safe. Please wear your masks. Please practice social distancing. Avoid crowded areas, please. And sanitize. Do everything possible to prevent yourself from getting the coronavirus. Because right now, it's deadly. It's not forgiving anyone. So better stay safe. Better be sorry. Yeah. So I'll see you in my next video where I'll be addressing all the questions that everyone sent me about the coronavirus vaccine. I'm going to address all of them and debunk all those myths and everything that all the misinformation that is on the internet so i'll see you on that video again bye